ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಹಾಲೆಲೂಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜೀಸಸ್ ಹಾಲೆಲೂಯ ಒಂದನೇ ಸೇವೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಹಿಮೆ ರಾಜ ದೇವರೇ ನಿನಗೆ ಕರ್ತನೆ ಈ ದಿನದ ಕರ್ತನೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಆರಂಭ ಕೂಟವನ್ನ ತಂದೆ ಮಗ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧಾತ್ಮನಿಂದ ಕರ್ತ ನಡೆಸಲ್ಪಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡಪ್ಪ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ದೇವರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಾಮ ಮಹಿಮೆಯೊಂದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆರಂಭದಿಂದ ಕೊನೇ ತನಕ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿರುವ ಆಸ್ತ ಕರ್ತನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಡೆಸಲಿ ಕರ್ತನೆ ದಿನದ ಕೂಟ ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಕರ್ತನೆ ಅಪ್ಪ ತಿಮ್ಮ ಟರ್ಪೆಯನ್ನು ಕರ್ತನೆ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಮಾಡು ಕರ್ತನೆ ಅಪ್ಪ ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸು ಕರ್ತನೆ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ತನೆ ನೀವು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸಬೇಕಾಗಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರಪ್ಪ ನೀನು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಮಾಡು ನಡೆಸು ಅಪ್ಪ ನಿಮ್ ಕೈ ಗೊಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವಪ್ಪ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರಪ್ಪ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಕರ್ತನೆ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಹಲ್ಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಆ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ ಶಿಲು ಬೆಯ ಯಜ್ಞಾದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ತವ ಸುರಿಸಿದಿ ಆಶಿಳುಬೆಯ ಯಜ್ಞಾದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ರಕ್ತವ ಸುರಿಸಿದಿ ನಿನ್ನಾತ್ಮ ಒಂದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹರಿತು ಬಾಳುವೆ ನಾನಿಂದು ನಿನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮ ಒಂದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹರಿತು ಬಾಳುವೆ ನಾನಿಂದು ಅಲ್ಲೆಲುಯ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಆಮೇನ್ ಆಮೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲು ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಹಾ ಅಲೆಲುಯ 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 ನನ್ನ ಜೀವಿತದಿ ಸದ ನಿನ್ನನೆ ಸ್ಮರಿಸುವೆನು ನನ್ನ ಜೀವಿತದಿ ಸದ ನಿನ್ನನೆ ಸ್ಮರಿಸುವೆವು ನಿನ್ನಾತ್ಮ ಒಂದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಚಿತ್ತಾರಿತು ಬಾಳುವೆ ನಾನಿಂದು ನಿನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮ ಒಂದಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಚಿತ್ತಾರಿತು ಬಾಳುವೆ ನಾನಿಂದು ಅಲ್ಲೆಲುಯ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಹಾ ಅಲೆಲುಯ 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 ತೀರಲು ಭೂಯಾತ್ರಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಬಳಿ ನಾ ಬರುವೆನು ಆ ತೀರಲು ಭೂಯಾತ್ರಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಬಳಿ ನಾ ಬರುವೆನು ಪಾಪ ನಿವಾರಿಸಿ ಶುದ್ಧೀಕರಿಸಿ ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ನೀಡಿರಿ ಆಮೇನ್ ಆಮೇನ್ ಪಾಪ ನಿವಾರಿಸಿ ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ನೀಡಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಜೀವ ನೀಡಿರಿ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲುಯ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಆಮೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲುಯ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೇಸುವಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಆ ಅಲೆಲುಯ 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 ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಪಾಸ್ಟರ್ one more song i like this song one more song and then i give time to tim tarpi one more song ah written first eh? one more song you can sing one more song i request one more song okay 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 thank <laughs> yeah. you yeah okay stop from bless god hallelujah thank you jesus <laughs> thank you lord thank you lord amen amen Hallelujah thank you Lord Oh thank you Jesus God Hallelujah 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 
ಹಾಲೆಲುಯಾ ಹಲ್ಲೇಲುಯಾ ರಾಜ ರಾಜ ಏಸು ರಾಜ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಆಡಿಕೊಂಡಡಿ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರವನ ಮಾಡುವೆ ದೇವ ದೇವ ಏಸು ದೇವ ರಾಜ ರಾಜ ಏಸು ರಾಜ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಆಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಡಿ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ತೃಪ್ತಿಯನ ಒಂದುವೆ ನನ್ನಾಯ ರಕ್ಷಕನೇ ನನ್ನಾಯ ಆತ್ಮದಾತನೇ ಬೇರೆ ಆಸೆಯೇನು ಇಲ್ಲ ರಾಜ ನೀನೆ ನನ್ನ ದೈವವು ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಲೇಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕುರುಬನೆ ಸಂತೈಸುವ ತಾಯಿಯೇ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕುರುಬನೆ ಸಂತೈಸುವ ತಾಯಿಯೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ದಾಯೆ ಕರುಣೆ ಸಾಕಿನಗಿ ಅವೇ ನನ್ನ ಬಾಳಿನ ಕಿರೀಟವು ನಿನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ದಾಯೆ ಕರುಣೆ ಸಾಕಿನಗಿ ಅವೆ ನನ್ನ ಬಾಳಿನ ಕಿರೀಟವು ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಲೇಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ದರ್ಶನ ದಯ ಪಾಲಿಸು ನಿನ್ನ ಮಾರ್ಗಗಳ ಕಲಿಸು ದರ್ಶನ ದಯ ಪಾಲಿಸು ನಿನ್ನ ಮಾರ್ಗಗಳ ಕಲಿಸು ನಿನ್ನ ರಾಜ್ಯವ ಕಟ್ಟಲು ನಾನೊಂದು ಮೂಲೆಗಲ್ಲಾಗಿರುವೆನು ನಿನ್ನ ರಾಜ್ಯವ ಕಟ್ಟಲು ನಾನೊಂದು ಮೂಲೆಗಲ್ಲ ಗಿರುವೆನು ದೇವ ದೇವ ಏಸು ದೇವ ರಾಜ ರಾಜ ಏಸು ರಾಜ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಆಡಿಕೊಂಡಡಿ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ತೃಪ್ತಿಯ ನಾವೊಂದುವೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಲೆಲುಯ ಹಾಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಲೆಲುಯ ಆಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಹಾಲೆಲುಯ ಅಲ್ಲೇಲುಯ ಅಮೇನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅಮೇನ್ ಅಮೇನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಯಾ when that was beautiful the song yeah impressed me when i was in india for 20 days uh, to conduct ministry there yeah thank you very much raju yeah for singing the song thank you pastor yeah next time raja pon sambat also can sing another song so now thanks i, I give to tintarpi to continue this uh, meeting thank you time is used tintarpi Well, thank you and thank you Raju that was um amazing that you sung without any background uh, music your voice and the way you delivered that song and it was beautiful very do you do that often in your in your congregation when you gather your uh those who come to hear the word do you just uh, sing out like that without any uh, musical accompaniment 
because that's that's very well done. Beautiful. Mm. You have a beautiful voice. Yes, yes. So, Raju, how large of a... a thank you. Tell me a little bit thank about you, yourself. Thank you. Tell me a little bit of. I don't know much about you. Pastor? <laughs> yeah, you're a pastor. Where in India? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where in India are you? India, Pastor, in Bangalore, Pastor, uh, in near Karnataka, in Bangalore city, Pastor, and nearby in uh, district Asan uh, Ministry, yeah. Village Ministry, Pastor. Is that in. Did you say Bangalore? Uh, yeah, yeah, Bangalore, Pastor. Oh, yes, I. I had opportunity to go there, but not in ministry. But I, I, I went there to uh, to help out some friends, and they stayed there. And oh. well, actually, it was ministry because I was dealing back in the eighties. I was in Bangalore, oh. and that's when the war in Lebanon was going on, and many of the influential families sent their children to Bangalore, India, to continue oh, no. their studies. And it was really oh. very much a fruitful. They were very hungry and very receptive to understand more about Jesus and understand oh. about how the Word of God uh, is relatable to today. Even oh. though it's stories oh. of the past, it's relatable to today. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it because the climate there is is nice oh. as well. Hey, I'll take it. Tamil Nadu, Pastor. Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Famous city in Bangalore, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. How, in, uh, so how do you, I mean, how receptive is it there? Uh, who do you minister to? Uh, who comes, uh, Where? what is your main, how's the Lord using you there? Yeah, I am my church ministry pastor in, uh, in the church church ministry. I am working two church, two churches and village ministry pastor, working uh -huh. in pastor. Huh. What, what does that mean? You're in a village. Are you handle you? Yeah, yeah, village. The whole village. Pastor, written. I did. I didn't quite understand what you meant when you said you you work your chat in the village. Yeah, yeah, church in uh, village in church village ministry, church. pastor. Ah. Village ministries uh, working in village ministry. Uh, two churches in uh, one church is in uh, Haiti people's attend uh, worship service, and uh, another church is in uh, branch churches in uh, one 50 people's in attending church uh, worship, pastor. Ah. Sunday service. Okay. So, what are your what's the biggest obstacle in your locality in your? ministry there what are some of the biggest obstacles that you face in strengthening your congregation in the word of god do you get a yeah, lot yeah. of pushback from the locals the the tamils or the uh, hindus uh, uh, more more people in this pastor only in no uh, in christian pastor uh, my church surrounding uh, total in this people's pastor mm. in church believers is the total in this believers in attending church many service pastor in uh, uh, yeah, main churches in 80 people's full in this people's huh? uh -huh. uh, uh, total in this pastor my uh -huh. surrounding mm. Okay. All right. My church uh, yes. Thank you. My church, my church attendings are all people, Sindhus people. Sir. Ah, good. How is that where you are originally from, Raju? Are you originally from there? Bangalore? Uh, are you originally from Bangalore? Yeah, yeah. Bangalore near in uh, uh, so one two and a half hour journey, Pastor. No, but I meant, were you born in Bangalore, or are you from another part no, of no, India? But, uh, my part in uh, Asan district, Pastor. Mm, okay. Raju, right. Raju, okay. I, to be honest, I tell you, yeah, I don't understand uh, the real meaning of what you sing. Yeah, but uh, Holy Spirit interpret in my heart. I almost, 
pitching I, start. I, I almost cannot uh, stop my tears running down when uh, you were singing that song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It blessed, it blessed me very much. Yeah. And also, I think when I was in India for 20 days there, I spent my okay. time there. Uh, yeah. It is in the south of India. I was there yeah, three years ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Thank yeah. you, Pastor. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, seeing the song. Yeah. So I give back time to Tintarpi to continue. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Okay. Pat Raju, do you have a copy of this? Pat Rasita, did he, uh, the pastor get a copy of this? Okay, Pastor. Surely, Pastor. The one I'm showing on the screen. Did he? Okay, Pastor. Um, also, if we can, uh, Pat Rasita, if you can give an update of the emails. Of, oh, uh, surely, Pastor. Uh, surely, Pastor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Tira Purba, is this a new member, Pat Rasita? Uh, two times uh, she has joined, two times, yeah. Oh, she has, huh? Okay. Yeah. I'm just recognizing the name. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, I believe this is, is, you can correct me if... Is this, I believe we stopped here because we were talking about this paragraph, uh, mm -hmm. this particular short paragraph, the importance, what was being said here. And I think that's where we ended up finishing. So we would pick up on page four, that's page 14 now at the top of the page, basically, uh, page 14. Those who have a hard copy in front of them. And those who can see this on the screen, is this okay? Everybody can see this clearly? Yes, yes, I can see it. I think, Raja, are you there? Can you continue to read? Raja Pon Samrat, if you are ready, please unmute your mic. Okay, Raja is not ready yet, so I read first, and then okay. uh, if Raja is ready, you can continue, Raja. Okay. Countless times I have prayed with people claiming some precious promise from his word and feeling that everything was right and within his will and that we might really praise him for the answer. But upon rising from my knees, I would find to my amazement amusement that the one I had been praying with was not believing at all, but simply hoping that the Lord has someone heard. Somehow heard. Somehow or uh, somehow heard, yes. Then over and over again, I've said, why your part is to believe that you receive and... Sorry. Only believe, sister, only believe. And they would repeat that words after me. But I knew from the expression of their face that they were not believing for that moment, but hoping in an indefinite sort of way for some future evidence that God has heard that prayer. And sometimes months and even years afterwards, they have some excited as a child faces all a glow, jubilant in spirit, as if they had just made a brand new discovery of which no one had ever told them a thing. Why, sister, the Lord has just revealed to me the most wonderful thing. I am just to believe that I have received just as Mark 11, uh, 24 says, when you pray, believe, then you receive and you shall have. Oh, it's so wonderful to find that all I have to do is just believe. Somewhat, really, one has to answer. That 
is just what I have been trying to tell you for two years and have had them look back at me rather surprised and say, oh, is that what you were trying to explain to me? Okay, continued by Raju first. Raju, you can continue to read it. Raju, are you still there? Raju. Okay. Yeah, you can continue to read it. So after all. Okay, Pastor. Yes. Uh, so after all, God's spirit must include then the heart to understand this great uh, principle of faith as him and he will do external exceedingly, exceedingly above exceedingly. all you mm. exceedingly. exceedingly yeah there you go abundantly exceedingly ab abundantly above mm -hmm. all you ask or think yes uh, the uh, the the stand of the faith is the described in the Ephesians uh, six and thirteen, which says, "Take uh, take unto you the whole aroma of God, that ye might be able to with with withstand." In the he will and having uh, done all the to stand uh, and then describes very very fully just what we shall do when we uh, want uh, something from the Lord. In other words, how to get things from God. Let uh, us take up. This is armor face by the pace and the foot it uh, on ready to go out and face uh, the enemy who of the course will will fight us every inch of the way in this is a effort to keep us from uh, getting getting things from God is enemy, so shattering that no natural strength can combat. Uh, Ephesians and uh, 6 uh, is the unsolved Ephesians and 6 and 12. For we are wrestle, 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 and the wrestle. Mm -hmm. Wrestle. Wrestle. Mm -hmm. Wrestle. Okay. Uh, not against falls and blood, but against principalities. Is against powers of this is hold again. High places. But within this is armor that Lord gives us. We are uh, equipped. 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 To stand against, first we will break you the whole armor of God. Ephesians and 6 and 13, we do not have take me. This is armor God has done that we have only uh, to take it. The scripture says for us to take it for our use in the day that is the stands special assaults with my come to any moment that being preportical then having done stand standing means 
uh, held held in or the filling we have the already explained this this is in detail having your line lines great about with true truth is the the bond that grades up and keeps together the following ropes so that the christian soldier might not be for the action sincerity is the absolutely necessary in the stand stand of faith dealing personally the enemies or subscribes sub subterfuges subterfuges checked by the spirit of god immediately mm. and having on the righteousness it it is the thing from god that mark pastor mark 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 the lord has good for you okay oh, testing do not let this is okay this correct in the mark mm-hmm. mm-hmm. just mark her pastor mark mark do not start do not this is the discourage you sir because god does not ask perfection is only ask that put our will over in his side that with all our hearts we are training the the very best we can you know how here is the very so many stumbles and says a i am not good ing others my worthy but i am and the hit in their arts there is the deep desire to right and the great lung he asks perfect uh, eldodenis wilderness entry soro surrender that we everything sold be on the altar and he will do the rest and your feet shed with the preparation for orations mm-hmm. uh, this is refresh that the mil- military sources used by the soldiers of the of that day and uh, is the signification of the perfect for fairness princess readings for the march the uh, the christian soldiers should should be ready at any minute to do and suffer all the god mm. wills above all taking the stand of faith very with very, very, very very with, 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 with he shall be able to uh, quench in quench in all the fire darts of the wicked now mm. god now god word says faith <laughs> now god is word says faith is evidence of things not seen hebrew 11 and 1 faith is that attitude of the art that calls the things that are not is the astro they are is the romans in 4 and 17 is the word says god who uh, wickedness the dead and the cloth this is things this is things with be not say through they very if we are asking god let us see before we believe this is, this is is the not faith 
Okay. Unbelief, any, you any say of you can this is continue. Start. Sorry, sorry. Uh, maybe Muhtar Arifin, Penjaitan, can you continue? Start by the nature man's attitude. Muhtar, okay. unmute your mic. Muhtar, or uh, if you're ready. Sorry, you can... which one? Uh, but the nature man's attitude towards God is such. Okay. I just read, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. But the natural man's attitude towards God is such that while he will take man's word, the refuses to believe God's in the same way. Which thing also we speak not in the word which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. The natural man is at enmity towards God. Why is that we thank a man who makes us a promise just as soon as he makes it before there is the, high, the slightest evidence that he will keep it? But we are not willing to thank God on his promise long before we see it. This has been called the reckoning of faith. This is that reckoning on the word of God. One great Bible teacher wonderfully describes this, the illustration of the mariner who gets his bearing when the sun is shining and all is well. Then we, the storm in the night comes and he can no longer sail by sight. He then has the opportunity of getting his bearing gain. He sails by what is called death reckoning, utterly dependent upon the reckonings he is secured when the sun sun, the sun sun. Just so the one who is getting something from God takes a promise from his word stands upon it and from that moment fully reckon upon it no matter what happens after he claims the promise and though he may not be able to see a foot ahead of him yet he sails by that reckoning he says back there i claim that promise from the lord and i am still standing upon it no matter if i shall it provoke darkness yeah. then according to romans 4 20 we will be fully persuaded that what the that what he has promised he is able to perform then we do not look around at the waves the do, the, the fog or the storm the right uh, the circumstances we keep our eyes simply on that promise of scripture as someone has rightfully said for every look at for, for every look at your trouble Take a hundred looks at the promise of God. This will look foolish sometimes to you and to others, but you can ever to look, but you can ever, which one is, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but we can ever, which one? You can ever to look foolish. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. But we can, yang mana nih? Okay. okay. Mm. I'm so sorry. I cannot see it directly. How Which about one? now? Uh, faith, yeah. Faith is not some great thing. Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Uh -huh. Faith. Faith is not some great. Is that right? Yes. Go okay. ahead. Sorry. Faith is not some great thing. Some great thing. Not some uh, glorious feeling. Some will some wonderful seasons some wonderful session as many things but simply taking god at this word faith says amen to every to everything god says faith is a faith is utter dependence upon the veracity of an of another you tell a man you have no faith in him and you cannot do business with him just so god's word says Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hard times were hard times were caused by the loss of confidence in confidence on the part of men, and so there hard times in the life of faith. 
when a man or woman loses the the least confidence in the word of God. In Hebrew 11, 1, 11 verse 1, uh, the scripture says, faith is the evidence of things not seen, just as your physical hand reaches out and takes hold of something. So faith is the spiritual uh, faith is the spiritual hand that reaches out then and takes hold of promise of God and appropriates them. Now God has given us five senses. Now God has given us five senses: feeling, seeing, hearing, tasting, and smelling. When we taste sometime, sometime, something that it sweet, we have the, the evidence that it is so because our taste has given us the evidence. No matter what we, no, no matter what anyone else says, we know it's sweet because we have evidence. This some application can be worked out with the with the other senses. Now, in spiritual life, God gives us faith to witness to us as spiritual things. Last as hourly, yes. uh, last our five yes. senses bring us the evidence of temporal things. We accept that. We accept what our lip senses tell us. Why we do not? Uh, why do we? Why do we not accept faith as the evidence? For it will bring the past and belief. So it, so it done unto thee. Just as our taste, the evidence that we think we partook was was sweet. So our faith is the evidence that we have the things we have asked faith. Is not an uncertain, uncertain sort of sort of thing, but it is, but it's, but it's a principle which operate uh, in the spiritual world as surely as the unseen principle of source does it. The material world in the social world that is the the human sphere, faith is a principle that blinds families together and. Uh, Simon's friendship. It is very found found the foundation stone of commercial confidence and business transaction between men. Why is it thought strange then that this name principle should be applied in the spiritual kingdom? For just sorry, for just as for just as an for just an unseen force of attraction hold the material world together and unseen principle hold that social and financial world together just so and just so unseen for law of faith this underlining force which holds the spiritual world together it is the mighty the mightiest rose in the spiritual world still continue yes you can finish the next uh, sentence there um oh. I'm so sorry, I cannot see clearly. Okay, how about now? The active creative force. It is the mightiest. It's the mightiest force in the spiritual world. It is the mightiest force in the spiritual world. Still continue. Yes, because that's a that's a comma. Continue to finish the that particular oh, sentence okay, okay. or two sentences. Okay, yes. I will continue. Mm -hmm. The active creative force which produces effect and brings things to pass. Just because faith in God's promises is not the natural realm, it is, it is nonetheless a real active force in the universe. Faith okay, is practical. Okay, we can stop. You can stop, stop. there. Then. Yeah. Okay, no. thank you. Thank I'm so you. Sorry, thank, you really. thank you. Okay. But, okay. Um, should we stop and digest what we just read? That was, this is the principle right in the last paragraphs that we read, in the page 15 and 16, are the principles of why we even pray. What is prayer and why do we even pray? 15 chapter, just uh, pages 15 and 16. We just finished. And how prayer is effective. How per that's why when many of us have asked questions, well, we prayed for this and nothing happened. 
And then we were talking about how the Lord says, yes, no, or wait. But there's also one other factor, doubt, yeah, lack yeah. of faith. Lack mm -hmm. of faith when we went into prayer, remember? As we started off this morning, in the beginning, uh, the lady, uh, Mrs. Berg, is talking about how she was praying with a woman. And when she got up, she realized that the woman, even though her words were very nice words, but she didn't believe them. And it took her two years to f come to the realization, oh, when I'm talking to the Lord, and I do ask him, do I know he heard me, I have it. I have, he's going to give me an answer. That's a prayer of faith. A lot of times, prayers are prayed and there really is no faith. Therefore, there is no answers to prayer. And that, as all of you who are leaders in your own right, in your own group, in your parishioners and their friends, that's where the Lord gives you discernment. The people may say their words, may even sound like a good prayer, but the Lord will give you a discernment. Was that a prayer of faith? Or were just saying the words and they got just to the ceiling of the building that you're in? It didn't get any further. Remember the, sto the story of the janitor in the church and he was cleaning the belfry and they were having a prayer meeting in the church down below. And he came down off his ladder and walked up to him and says, you know what's wrong with your prayers? They only get as high as that belfry. You're not really praying in the presence of the Lord and believing the Almighty God who created you and me and the whole world and keeps us under his hands of control. He has the power to answer everything you ask of him if it's according to his will and it's good for you and it's good for his work. That's the... That's what the Lord is trying to teach us. That when we come to him, it's not what we say with our mouth. It's what we believe in our spirit and in our heart. We can say, just like the song today, we listened to it. It was in a language I could not understand, but it, it caused me to want to talk to the Lord. It caused me to want to thank the Lord and... and uh, get my eyes on the Lord. And I didn't understand a word he was singing except hallelujah. But for some reason, it was moving me to get my heart and my mind fixed on the Lord in his presence and singing hallelujah to him. And it's like, that's how we should be in prayer. It's not how long we pray. It's not what we pray. I think the Lord's trying to help us to get our hearts. That's where a relationship is so important. When we know someone and we know that they care, truly care about us, and we open up our heart to them, and we know that they hear us, and that gives us that assurance. His Spirit gives us that faith to know we can leave it with Him, and we can find that rest to know that we committed it unto him. And now we can carry on with what's in front of us, knowing that we left it in good hands and the Lord's going to take care of it. And it's going to get answered. We want it to be answered according to the Lord's will and according to what the Lord knows is best for everyone involved. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Yeah. And also teaching about how to generate faith is very important for us because we don't have knowledge only how we can believe yeah, in our heart as you, as you teach us. Yeah? 
So uh, learning about how we walk according to the faith uh, Jesus Christ has given to us is very important uh, because the faith uh, in Jesus and Jesus has given to us and then we can practice uh, without any doubt. Uh, I think it's very good then we can walk according to the faith that Jesus has given to us. That's I learned. Yes. Yes. We have to believe that Jesus keeps his word. Mm. Like she was explaining, we so often easily trust, put trust in man who says they'll do something. But we always want to see a sign or a confirmation to put trust in the Lord when we talk to him. Mm. Could he just give us a sign that he heard our prayer, heard my prayer and that he he's going to answer it the way either I think he should answer it or he's going to answer it. I that the human mind, the mind which is into me against God, that's what she brought up in those two those two pages. Our mind is the battlefield. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it tries to get us to look on ourselves and the circumstances and conditions around us for confirmation that the prayer has been heard mm. rather than knowing that we committed it unto a God who created everything and has a power over everything and is in control of everything. And he says so in his word. And that way, where faith is in his word, his promise, knowing that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them who come to him. For it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. For without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah, yeah. That, that verse right there, that verse right there is so key factor in our walk, in our life every day. If we're pleasing the Lord, we must be believing in the Lord. And that's what pleases him. Not all our works, not all mm. our sacrifices. <laughs> None of that pleases the Lord. What pleases the Lord is that verse. For it is impossible, for without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In therapy, can I give time to the participant yes. to speak? Okay, David Wong, David Wong, please unmute your mic. Are you there, David Wong? Yeah. David Wong, can you hear me? Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, I would like to listen how you walk according to the faith you have from Jesus Christ. So it is a good testimony that we can like to hear from you. So time is yours now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I guess, uh, I guess from the rising of the sun in the morning yeah. to the day, I guess we all take for granted that it's another day, uh, if you ask me. But as you walk through the day, some things happen, and that's when you come back and say, God, what's happening? And then you go on your bended knees and then you ask. And of course, if it's a small matter, like for example, a small stomach upset or something, and you try and take your medicine, but after that, you know, you just pray and hope for the best. Of course, the other way is you go and see a doctor. 
that is a typical way. But I don't know. Whenever I do in the ministry, I see in in the kampung or in the uh, the outlying areas. You know, that means not in the city areas because doctors are very hard to come by, and that's when that kind of faith is there. But I may have one question, Tim. Remember, there was this man who said. I believe Jesus, but help my unbelief. I'm trying to. I was trying to read that context. It's not Jairus, right? It's not Jairus. Can you remember no. that person who prayed? Yeah, that's where you talk about the doubt. You know, I believe, but help my unbelief. Immediately he prayed that, and that was so, so startling. I thought. Can you remember that passage? Yes, I do. Re- I I remember it. How do you want? How how do you how do you apply that passage in what we have been reading and talking about today? Yeah, because you Why said that some, yeah, there? yeah. You you mentioned that you know you have uh, uh, what yes no wait and the other part was doubt. You know yes. sometimes we are doubtful, and then I also understand that there was this man. Well, I can't remember which passage in one of the gospel. You know, he really truly said, "I believe," but Lord Jesus help my unbelief immediately. You know, and of course, I think God answered his prayer. I think after that, and that was interesting. I thought you could have a look at it and see what exactly was this part about his doubt. I thought it's not Jairus. Jairus. I thought it was Jairus. No, I think no, somewhere. No, it, it may have been. I'm not absolutely sure. Someone else can uh, verify this, but I believe it was a man who was blind. That, and see. Jesus asked him if he wanted to be healed. And did you believe that he can be healed? I believe, or it was because he was, the Lord was asking someone, I could heal your child. You might be right, David, too, that you can, you, I believe, it helped thou my unbelief because um, it's like there's nothing in his five senses that can guarantee that he's going to see or that his child's going to be healed he wants to believe he does believe that this man is talking to him jesus is talking to him he truly is come from god but to believe that you could heal my son who's far away from me right now or they could open my eyes right now oh, wow I've never heard anybody just opening somebody's eyes have been born blind. Or I've never seen where someone said someone's healed and they're not even on top of, you know, near them. I've never heard any of that. So it goes again, David, the key is it's a battle in the mind. It's our thoughts. That's where doubts come from, our thoughts. And that's the battle, and that's the enemy's ground also. When the Lord speaks, the enemy usually comes in right afterwards and attempts to steal, just like sowing the seed, steal those words of faith or those seeds from being fruitful on the ground and bringing forth new life. And so the battle is in our minds. So we believe, in our heart we do believe, but the battle is getting our heart and our mind in submission to trusting not by faith. That substance of faith that Pat Rosita is talking about. Faith that sees not. You can't see it. It's evidence of things not seen. Mm. You see, that that goes contrary to our mind, according to our contrary to our mentality, the way we think, whether it's logical, analytical, but we have to have some way of substance to kind of support. But faith has no substance like that. We believe because God said so. That's what he's trying. We believe in the unseen. Mm. So I guess, as he said, when you know, on a regular basis, things don't turn up. Actually, this morning I happened to see a video 
and it's India. Wow, the persecution was terrible for this guy. And, and that's, I think Raja should know the word Jai Masi or something like that. Yeah, when they, yeah. yeah, when they beat a uh, Christian and they would say that word. And I was, I would like to say, sick to my stomach. Anyway, I was taken up for something else. So uh, I was just, I mean, it's just a video that affects me. And here you are, you know. I thank God that in Singapore, we don't have that kind of situation. Of course, even as we talk, the bombs are going on in Hurricane. You know, it's so surreal. You follow me, you know, uh, Tim. You know, yes. it's so surreal, yeah. How do I reconcile sometimes, I say, God? Of course, I thank God like, for all the good things, all the safety things, all the peace that I enjoy. So, you know, count your blessings, name them one by one. I say, okay. But yet, I cannot be, like you say, uh, blind or ignorant. Or otherwise, so what's happening on the other part of the world, people are literally dying at the mercies of some evil people, at the mercies of some evil work, you know. In fact, I just thought yeah. I sent it to to the Indian yep. Bible and, and you know maybe you could you could flash but uh, it's not gory like. it's just it just make you sick to your stomach I say God have mercy and I said immediately to God just make him alive and he can testify that's all I can say but but yeah, can, Raja can you, you should something? know Jai Masi yeah please yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 right now we are facing so many things in uh, India can you hear me yeah I hear yeah. you yes okay yeah. okay okay, okay. Okay, right now we are facing so many things in India, uh, but uh, we are in our uh, in our mind. Uh, we have uh, the strong decision. God is in control overall, and uh, yeah, we have our faith in God. The things are going bad or good. The whatever the things are happening, He is in control. Yeah, He's yes. sometimes He is allowing us to go through in this situation. Uh, we feel sometimes it's good, sometimes it's a bad. It's whatever the things happening, we have a bold enough to face the things because uh, uh, that Sotra Meshak Abit Nebu, they uh, by faith they have spoken to the world to the king. Uh, if they are God, it can deliver. But if if could not, if it cannot deliver us from the fire. That doesn't matter for us because uh, we believe in our God. Still, like uh, the faith, uh, it's like a uh, embarrassing, like uh, forcing us and pressing us to go forward. Yes. Some, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Sometime, sometime, I I am telling uh, our like uh, our. The bad thing is, uh, sometimes uh, we feel uh, we are not like, uh, because when we get into problem, we'll have a facing problem. So sometimes we are not doing the things because of the, some fear. Uh, fear and, uh, yeah, that fear, it's make us to pull back to do so many things in uh, because uh, we do so many things and uh, we having a problem. When we give our tracks, handbills to uh, on the street, uh, each and every houses, we having a problem. So they, so ninety percentage they will receive, but for the ten percentage they will like uh, denying why you giving this, and they will talk to us and why you. Or bringing to gospel to us, and why you changing the country, and why you are doing? What's your name? One guy he asked me, "What's your name?" My name is Raja. Why are you keeping a Tamil name? <laughs> yeah, why why don't you keep your George or Milton or like a, a Peter? You are accepted a foreign god. Why are you keeping this name? So I said, "Why why not?" I'm keeping my name because. Whatever the name is there, God is accepting me. So things are going bad or good. Everything God is giving a boldness to face. Uh, sometimes we are not doing because of some fear, but still we are overcome. We are trying to overcome the fear also. What are the obstacles? The big obstacles is a fear. We are actually in a church believers and also pastors. Uh, they think you have to act wisely faster they they will tell uh, that means we we should not speak we should not do the things 
because uh, they they are thinking this is a wise act but uh, really if you want the things are going bad at bad means no, nothing to worry about because god is in control it's uh, things are bad or good uh, we want to face it on the in the field that's uh, yeah we are standing in the battlefield so it doesn't matter what are the things uh, if can come, come things bad means we have we accepting god because uh, god is in control sometimes is is allowing peter sometimes is in the jail so some of them they are asani they are like uh, they died and what are everything god is in control so we are trusting god and we are go go going forward to in his kingdom to fulfill his will in a uh, is a uh, it's kingdom glory yeah amen yeah. yeah your faith is really the you were telling the faith is we really please god yeah we have so so many things and uh, good things we will expect if it if it is doesn't happen still we having a faith in god so our god never change so we have a uh, sometime he will give sometime later or he will give a he will not interested to give us also so doesn't matter we are faith in god trust in god keep move on in his glory for doing things for his will mm. amen thanks for sharing that that's yeah yeah that uh, pastor raju raju you asking the uh, opticals from uh, what are the opticals you go seeing in uh, bangalore in the beginning you asked beginning you asked the question to right. pastor Raj. yes yeah right. the, yeah really the uh, christian are gathering and we could not be able to gather the audience like um, yeah could not be able to reach the um, we cannot invite the new people but still we are doing through home group and to um, yeah we are trying to reach the new people but still it's like a little bit difficult to reach them ah but it's it's better one by one as the lord leads you and gives you that discernment and sets up the situation it's better that one by one because then you know that when you make meet the one that lord leads you to he's wanting you to take him in and or her in and strengthen them you yeah know? yeah one by one yeah, yeah we are really inviting the home prayers yes yeah we are inviting we are inviting uh, yeah. yeah that's god's uh, but not they are not coming immediately that's uh, like one one yeah. week and two week or why it will take one month two months it it take time to yeah. make them to sometime we used to go their houses we are asked them can you allow us to pray in your home yeah they are very happy to receive us because uh, they need a blessings from god yeah. yes 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 yeah. yeah they they are allowing so keep on we are praying for the blessings and praying for the salvation and we are sharing the jesus christ love so god is leading us they are having a little bit little they having a the seed of faith we are putting the word of god to their yes. heart yes yeah. yes yes yeah, it will grow we believe it will grow and yeah. it will it will uh, fruit the fruit yes 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 also g from from batam is she with us so she can share uh, how he can equip people to be a soul winner yeah because it is part of her life to give people that people can have boldness to share about Jesus is the the way the true and the life g can you unmute your mic and open your camera so you can uh, share personally are you there okay she just left yeah i don't i think maybe about the connection yeah Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Rajapun Samrat, for sharing about the life in India right now. 
yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah. bless. thank you bless us okay any one of you would like to share about uh, what god has done in your life especially david wong uh, has uh, a, a deeper heart how to win the soul yeah yeah so david wong uh, from singapore but uh, You would like to share about God has placed in her heart about uh, the lost sheep. The lost sheep. Uh, uh, God uh, leave 99 uh, flock and then look for one. Okay, David Wong, can you share a little bit about that? Yeah. Yes. I guess we are all familiar with the parable of the lost sheep and the lost coin. In it. That's Luke 13. But uh, when uh, God gave me, it was really uh, something that was very powerful. And, and it reminded me because if you, I mean, you know, how can I compare with people like Bonke or the bigger ones, you know, Billy Graham, who is they all left. But then I asked and I said, why did Jesus share that? And when I look at John chapter 3 about Nicodemus, who came to Jesus in the night, you know, he was one person, of course, he was a lawyer, he was a respected person. In fact, a lot of preachers got it wrong, I think. You know, he said he was afraid, you know. And, and you know, if you understand that Jesus is busy in the day doing ministry, then how best to catch his attention? Go in, see when he's less busy. So it's in the evening. So it's more likely that reason, but a lot of preachers say, yeah, I could be afraid, but I don't know. Nicodemus, they call it the secret Christian. But when I go into John chapter 4, that really blew my mind. You know, John chapter 4, say Jesus went into Samaria. Now, if you understand, Jesus is a Jew. And Jews, if Jesus said, I came to uphold the law, and I know, and yet Jesus broke all sort of uh, biasness, rules, and traditions to speak to the woman at the well, who was an adulteress in some ways of saying, you say, Five of the husbands and none of them is a husband, you know. And yet, God used this very startling incident to remind me the very importance. And the verse that really hit anyone, if you ever understand. So, maybe if you sometimes compare yourself with Bonke or Billy Graham, maybe it's good for you to remind yourself of the parable of the lost sheep. It says that on verse 7, uh, chapter, uh, Luke chapter 15, it says, If just one soul rejoice, the whole hosts of heaven will rejoice over the one that is lost and over the 99 that were not. So when I look at Jesus with the woman at the well, and of course, his, his uh, special consolation is through the woman at the well, he reached a, a small part of Samaria, the whole village you know, that came to. And if you know the conversation, you say the village said, Yes, through the woman, I heard about you. But now I've seen the Messiah and therefore I believe. So I guess when God speaks to me about this 99 plus one, it was a big consolation because I hope you all can see, right? We may not be like Bonke, neither can we be like, you know, uh, Billy Graham or even uh, David Wilkinson. But if you can just reach out one, I'm not saying just end there, but continue to touch everyone possible. I think it will be a much better world and much better place. And you would have done your job for Jesus. And maybe and as conclusion, I want you to, you to be encouraged about the lost sheep because when Jesus was at the cross, he was, he was on the way home, literally. You know, right? He was flogged, he was bitten, and he was hanging. You know, he's almost dying, you know? And yet, the people brought two thieves to him. They were convicted sinners. Huh? And there's thief A and B. And then Jesus had that conversation with them. And one of the thief A said, Hey, if you are Jesus, why don't you come down and smack all them and teach them a lesson? But thief B said, Look here. Both of us are convicted sinners. Right? Literally, that's what the word is. We are all, for all have sinned, but fall short of the glory of God. We are literally sinners. And Jesus said, And the man, the thief said, if you are who you say you are, remember me in paradise. And I tell you, his words are so comforting. Even as I shared, if you recall, my mom just passed away last week. And I know where is she now? Because the words that say, you know, 
today you will be with in paradise with me. And with that little thing, he didn't go for baptism. He didn't go for Bible study. He just say, if you say you are, that means he expressed his belief. And Jesus himself said in the word of God, say, today you will be. So many people always say, oh yeah, wait for the you know coming and the lifting of the body. To me, this is a very clear cut of a man who died. And he said, like all sinners, both of us are guilty, he said to the thief A and himself. But this man is innocent, and that again proof. So when you look at the lost sheep, then you look in all this context, like I said, Nicodemus, then chapter 4, the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman, and see Jesus reaching out, then I begin to understand. You know, he didn't go and reach by the thousands or millions like Bonke, but he just reached out whatever he can. And, and if it's a consolation at all, he himself selected 12 disciples. So I hope, of course, please, if you have 500, please increase. Make the disciple them and make them reach out. That should be it. So I hope it will be any consolation for you. This one soul is very, very important. That's all I can say. Thank you. Mm. Anybody want to add? Uh, do you all follow what I shared? Yes, yes, I can follow. Tim, any any thoughts on it? Uh, you're mu muted, Tim. Oh, yeah, you're muted. Tim. Sorry, you're muted. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, Pat Rosita, did you want to say something? Yeah, I thought you were saying you wanted to say something. Yeah, Please go. for me, it's enough. Uh, what One thing I learned uh, from this group that we can learn about how we can uh, we can stand in our faith. Faith, uh, faith is not the knowledge only, but how we can believe in our heart ah, that uh, will do something for us. Yeah. So uh, uh, to, to stand on our faith, uh, we must take time, and also we can learn how we can stand in the faith not according to our knowledge, to according to God's word, yeah, a replace, yes. uh, place in our hearts. That's, yeah. I understand, the Dalpi. Yes. Uh, yes David, thank you for sharing that little point you brought up. Not a little point, but a very valid, a very, and it goes along with the testimony, Raja's testimony in India. You see, Raja's not worried about his life because he knows is if they take his uh, he's with Christ physically now alive on this earth but if they take his life he's going to be instantly with Jesus yeah yes kingdom. yes yes and just as yeah. you were sharing David that yes. uh, thief the Lord told him this day you shall be with me in the kingdom amen amen yeah so I mean, that's the faith the Lord wants all of us to walk in. That faith of knowing whether we live, yeah. we live in him, and or whether we die, we die in him. That he's right there for us. Amen. Yeah. And, and by the way, Raja, you know your name is King? Raja is King. Don't forget <laughs> that. You're yeah. King. Of the, uh, son of the yeah. Most High King. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anyway, as thanks, Tim. As Tim yeah. Talpi explained to us that our mind is the battle of battlefield. Yeah. Sometimes if we, if we only walk according to our mind, sometimes we cannot generate our faith. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we must learn about this. Uh, how we can overcome our mind. Yeah. Our mind, so we can walk according to the faith God has given to us. Like Jesus hang on the tree, uh, he's on the cross. Jesus has has faith for every people who believe in him shall not perish. Yes, yes. yes. And the same faith also God has given us through Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, and then. We can practice it, yeah, uh, 
because uh, faith is not only in our heart, but we can practice and people can see how we can walk according to the faith God has given to us. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mutar, uh, do you want to say something? Yeah. Uh, well, good morning first. Yeah, I'm really interested with this uh, faith. Yeah, talk about the faith. In my mind, there are two kind of faith. Yeah, the first faith is about the salvation. Maybe we just talk that uh, what you call about our faith. Yeah, if uh, we accept Jesus Christ, Christ as our Savior, so mean that we save by our faith. But my question is now is about the faith uh, prayer. Yeah, because some I'm really interested with the. Uh, Uh, Mark 11, 24, therefore I say unto you, things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye, ye shall have them. Well, uh, I'm as, as a coordinator of the building church prayer, sometimes I have to convince all my committee, all the people that uh, we have already prayed and means that... Uh, three kinds of prayer that I have to uh, convince them that our church is has already built like that. And that is my faith. That is my faith. Yeah. Because, uh, sometimes, yes, most of them are still hesitate, still doubt. And I think uh, because they didn't see the building yet. Yeah. Didn't see the building yet. So it means that our faith, uh, their faith means that like, what do you call they such like uh, still hesitate and Uh, what I mean here that uh, still confused about this one, but I'm as a coordinator of the uh, building church, I always them because I got something from God that you have to believe that all things that you need already ex- uh, are provide by uh, by God. So uh, can you? Uh, I just want to ask Mr. Tim Tarpi, yeah, what is the meaning? The real meaning of that? word because uh, uh, Mark 11:24 that is that I, I always proclaim to all of our committee we have to believe that we have already got uh, we have already uh, 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 what they call got everything about even about the fun about the money and sometimes yeah after prayer means that we got it yeah but some of them still hesitate and Uh, it is not easy to convince all of them uh, that we have already uh, got something from God. So can you explain a little bit about this one, Mr. Temi, that uh, three ta- uh, uh, just to inform you that uh, we have three uh, times to, uh, if you really want to build the church, I mean that you, have, you must have a desire first. Yeah, you have to pray. And the second one, yeah, yeah what I mean is that never stop praying. Yeah, uh, look, uh, 18, uh, first one, sometimes I talk them. And the last one is about the Mark 11, 24. I got one this morning. And after this, I'm going to pray all with all of the committee, all the people, because uh, I have already got the, this message from God. So how to convince them? And uh, because in the prayer, we need one heart. Is that right? Uh, one heart and one uh, purpose that, I believe that it it will be happen. I mean, our prayer will be answered if we have one heart and believe that we have already accepted three. So my question is, I need your help, Mr. Tim Pali, about this. Uh, can, I tell you one thing? can I tell you one thing? Okay. Can I ha- yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing yeah. that. You know, yeah. You know what struck me was We know we do continue praying, but praying is not always asking. If we have already done that prayer of asking, as we continue to be praying for the church, your church, it should be a prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for supplying the nails. Thank you, Lord, for supplying the wood. Thank you, Lord. So their, their whole prayer meeting is a thankful prayer and that thankful yeah. prayer is you're thanking it before it even comes in your hands and by that sample to your parishioners we need to go you need to move away from if the lord did hear your prayer 
He's already heard it. Now it's going to the moment of expectancy by being thankful. Thank you, Lord. You're thanking the Lord before it even arrives. And as you continue to thank the Lord, he continues to strengthen your faith. <laughs> to know it's going to come to pass. <laughs> yeah. So yes, we had... continue to pray, but we just shift from asking to thanking <laughs> before it happens. <laughs> and that's the prayer of faith. <laughs> yeah, we have motto also uh, pray until something happen. What I mean here that yeah, I think yeah, yeah, thanks God also. We thankful for this one. Uh, uh finally they realize it, they aware that oh how come the money come or something like after pray sometimes yeah many uh what the donation come and yeah, right. many things yeah, yeah what i mean and they act surprise yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> um, might you might most uh, montar if you have a copy of this class it might be good to read through this class with your if you want to translate it into bahasa indonesian translate it and then sit down with your board your church board and read through this as it will strengthen them faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god this this uh material on prayer will strengthen them to see let the lord speak to them while they're reading the, the word with you so that the lord shows them because a person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still and what i mean by that there are many people who go so-called down into the water for baptism and come back out and come back up out of the water the same. <laughs> they haven't changed. <laughs> or they pray they pray the prayer and there's no change. <laughs> it's because <laughs> Yeah, yeah. the must be we have to we have to send someone, and it seems that he's not getting better. But uh, what do you call uh, uh, her parents said that? Wow, well, uh, she she's not not not, get, not getting better, but sometimes they blame us and even we have already teach them before baptism that what is the real meaning of baptism and so on so uh yeah yeah as you thought that sometimes yeah they back to their uh apa nama, bad habit or something like that and obsession to with some definition of baptism so, they did already uh, exchange our religion. so thank you i think this is just uh, what you call <laughs> Yeah, excuse me that yeah, Christian is not about the religion, actually, in my mind, that is about yes. changing. Yeah? How yes. do you change your life? <laughs> yeah. Even you have been Christian a long time, if you are changing, this, yeah, what about in faith? Yeah, the, yeah the, verse, the verse is Romans 12, verses 1 mm -hmm. and 2. Yeah. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the yep. renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable yeah. and perfect will of God? Yeah. It's, yeah. The background is in the mind. For about uh, the church, pastor asking about the church committee. I remember the word from uh, Israel, Israel people from Egypt yeah, going to gone on the promised land. Uh, Maybe same like a church building or church is a promise for from God. And the 12 tribe, uh, there is choose by 12 people to go and visit the Canaan, the Canaan, and see and come back to the place. And there is uh, two people, Joshua and Caleb, there are two people only having a faith and the 10 is not uh, denying and they don't have a faith. And uh, there is a uh, chains and uh, there is a uh, lot of uh, wild animals and there is a people so uh, we are in front of them they, we are locusts they are telling like that so you can give them a faith word keep on teach them to we can get the things from god because god has promised us 
it's really we'll get it and keep on you have to uh, pray for them and share the word of god and share the promise of god yeah god will really he will give the faith um uh, other uh, committee members also very good you know um, another word we can interchange with faith is trust trust because just an example that you just gave about them uh in the wilderness and going into the promised land out of the 12 two were looking at what the god had promised and spoke through moses about the other 10 had their eyes on what they saw and according to their flesh and their strength, there is no way they could overcome those giants. But they were looking at themselves, where Joshua and Caleb were trusting in what Moses said, God said. So it all comes down, trust and faith are like linked together. Okay, Tim Karpi, our time is almost uh, 10.30. So All right. we can close the meeting in prayer and then for next meeting we can continue. We talk All right. about faith. Faith. All right. this is, it's very hot discussion this morning. Thank you, Tim Karpi. So I give time to you. How, uh, who would like to close in prayer then? Uh, you, you, you can do it. Okay. Thank you so much, Jesus. You answered our prayer, Lord. We are your children. This, this, organ, this group right here, this Zoom meeting right here, Lord, we belong to you, Lord. And we wanted you to strengthen us and draw us closer to you, Lord, by all the samples, testimonies, your word, and our and that conviction to speak and to share, as you said, freely we have received, freely give. We thank you, Lord, as iron sharpeneth iron, we have been able to allow you to help strengthen us and draw us closer as a close brotherhood and a closer knitted body of yours so that you can continue to do your work through each and every one of us in the days ahead. We thank you so much for this opportunity that we can meet through this technology of the Zoom and we can see and we can hear. Thank you, Lord, that we use it for your glory, even though it's used a lot of ways in the wrong way. But we use it, Lord, because we believe that you allowed it so that your church can be strengthened through it, Lord, in these days. And we thank you for it. And we do pray for Rajas, the church lord there, that his uh, board members, they will begin to be open and change. And as he said, come as one body, one heart, one mind in prayer. And they will learn to begin to be thankful and thanking you, Lord, for that which they do not see. Knowing, Lord, that even like Caleb, and Joshua, Lord, they didn't know how God was going to do it, but he got them that far, so he's certainly going to give them the rest of the way because he's God, and not he's not worried about man. I thank you so much, Lord, that we have you, Jesus, that you've called us. You delivered us out of this world. We're your ambassadors, Lord, and thank you for giving us that vision of knowing whether we're here with you, Lord, or we leave this earth, Lord, we're going to be with you. So we have nothing to fear, for you are our light and our salvation. You are the strength of our lives. And we thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen.